It is always cool to catch up with my friend Dan Weeder, who covers the Bears and the National Football League. Also, Enterprise reporter. I'll find out what that means uh, for the Chicago Tribune. Mini camps opened today, Dan. You are about to go on lockdown. We are. Uh, we're not going to be allowed to talk to you again. <laughs> it's great to uh, to have a little taste of mini camp here before training camps get going in late July. The excitement in Chicago is at a totally different level than it was when last season ended. There's one reason for that. It's the first round pick that they drafted at number 11, Justin Fields. And it's been amazing to watch a fan base go from completely despondent and ready to give up on all things football to feeling like they found a 15-year answer. And we obviously know that the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Uh, Real quick, is there a difference in trading up one spot to number two and trading up to number 11? Well, here's why it's perceived differently in Chicago than it was in 2017. First of all, in 2017, when you're the first team in line at the quarterback buffet, people want you to get the proven difference maker. And so right. there was a lot of disappointment four years ago that Deshaun Watson didn't become a Chicago Bear. The difference in 2021 with the Chicago Bears trading up to get Justin Fields is they are acquiring a player whose college track record is much more established, right? Much more accomplished, much more achievements on Justin Fields' college resume and just go to YouTube, right? And, and, and the, the, the Mitch Trubisky YouTube film was not something that made people <laughs> move to the edge of their seats and had their jaws hitting right. the, the desk, right? You watch Justin Fields and you say, oh, man, this guy is an all-world runner. Oh, man, this guy can throw the deep ball on a laser right to where it needs to go over and over again. And so I think when you, when you just look at, at – and look, this guy has been highly touted since he was in high school, right? And so, so just that – that pedigree and that track record has people here very, very excited, and they want to see if this is the answer that the franchise has been looking for basically since the Sid Luckman days long, long ago. <laughs> Justin Fields is the shiniest object in Chicago right now, shinier than the Cubs who have been playing well, shinier than the White Sox who have yeah. one of the best records in the American League and are leading their division. Uh, is Justin Fields so shiny that he is obscuring Maybe other stories, other problems, other successes that are going on with the Bears? Oh, for sure, in terms of in terms of other things with the Bears. And I've tried to tell people here in Chicago, look, there was a unified disdain for the Bears organization that popped up in November and December of last year when they lost six straight. They clawed their way back into the playoffs in a you know backdoor scenario, getting the number seven seed and, and, and getting that wild card in the NFC and then promptly got their <laughs> doors blown off by the Saints in the opener. And just seeing the way that this organization had gone from having Super Bowl dreams coming out of 2018 to being stuck in that sort of eight and eight middle ground territory and the way that, that you know, the quarterback position had been botched, the management above the general manager hadn't been able to put the pieces together. There was a disdain that was – full of passion from November through draft night, right? And then right. Justin Fields came and everything changed. And my reminder to everyone is the only thing that changed is, is the, the, the guy who is now slotted in to be your quarterback of the future. All those other things that you were worried about in terms of the stability and structure of this organization, they still exist. If Justin Fields doesn't become an all-world quarterback, you are still stuck and lost as you've been since 1988 or whatever it's been, <laughs> you know, since this, this organization consistently was in the playoffs in a year and in your out basis. And so, yeah, there's a lot here that's obscure. The other thing, Adam, that's really interesting is, is most people see this 2021 Bears team as, as a team that's going to hover around 500, that's going to go eight and nine or nine and eight. And yet the excitement level is so far beyond what you would expect for an eight and eight or an eight and nine, nine and eight <laughs> kind of team. And so it's going to be a very interesting year because really all this is about is when does Justin Fields make his first start? How is he playing in late December and early January? And what does it look like for this organization going beyond this year? I mean, he's going to start day one, right? Unless he's a complete failure in mini camp, training camp, preseason, right? No, I, I think Andy Dalton is your guy for the month of September. I think that the Bears have a plan here where they would like to uh, bring Justin Fields along at a, a, a developmental rate that allows him to be fully ready when it's time to, to go out there on the stage. And so that's one of the reasons they signed Andy Dalton. It's one of the reasons right. they have confidence in him to be a placeholder is he can be a guy who shows Justin Fields what it's like to prepare for NFL defenses for the first month of the season, a guy who can, you know, be that mentor and, 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 and Justin can learn from Andy's mistakes and not have the confidence dip that comes from making those mistakes himself. Right. And so I think 
Matt Nagy, who was in Kansas City in, in 2017 when Patrick Mahomes sat out the first 15 games of the year, understands that there can be benefits to bringing a talented quarterback along slowly. And so they're going to start out on that track. Now, listen, I expect to see Justin Fields make his first start before Halloween, whether that's <laughs> week five, week six, week, week seven, we will see. The, 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 the folks in Chicago want it to be week one when they play the Rams on Sunday Night Football. It's not going to be that way. Andy Dalton's going to be the guy out of the gates. And then as soon as Justin's ready, they're going to turn him loose.